minutes after 9 a.m. and Mitz Master Gazi is seated right here with us in the studio. Um, they just think I was he singing on the song you just played? He was not singing. Uh huh. Because I know Mitz Master Gazi can't sing. Oh, can you sing? Yeah. You sing? Yeah, I can sing rap, raga, everything. You can sing rap and raga? Yeah. Okay, so you have the mic. Let's see which one of them you would want to do right now. Okay, make you give me a beat or anything. Yeah. Okay, I'll uh, put on your headphones. Uh, DJ Sticker, <laughs> give Mix Master Gazi a beat. Uh, he is saying he can sing, he can rap, he can raga. And one thing I like about these gentlemen is that anytime they say they can do it, really, they do it. Uh, when they say they can do it, they Fire. do it. And um, because he's a beat maker, I'm sure he can go with any beat at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knows the BPMs and all of that. Are you ready, Sticker? Mix Master Gazi. Let's do it. Uh huh. Hey. Yes, yes, yo. You're from me, Mix Master Gazi. Yo, what's up, my people? Yo, I say check my beat. Charlie, check my kick. Miss Nanny be my BB, I get too much, you check my snail. Yeah. From a Gazi, Maseho, Maseho, Bibi, where a freestyle, Zalo from Radio Sunna Mete, Tali Maseho, Sammy Siminia, Bibi, Namese, me Betrani, said Tali, no be only beat. Tali, I did sing, I sound with the rap, I did raga, I did do everything, Tali. Ah, Tali, I'm going to say, 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 and that that hold that so you believe. Yes, from me, me hip in the bar, I was about to say, yeah, mad. I see, but you don't sing. Yeah, I sing a rag, I do everything. Okay, so oh, to me, I sing in freestyle. Yeah, yeah, do some okay. singing. Ah, you can. Okay, do I'm quite right DJ. You still want this uh, instrument? Yeah, mommy, mommy, beat, beat, be a seven beat, be a producer. Okay, then too. this one is playing. Uh huh. And to me, yeah. Studio freestyle, and I say, me mouth oh, proper like, singing. Oh, like what should be be part? To the what should be? Be be a mad to be a. Do you ever to be a? No, I say yeah, oh dear, and you be young. Some is me singing, no. Now singing, you get yourself out, you know. You see, you see, you are disgracing yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, do the raga. No, no, no. Raga. Boy. Raga. Boy. Uh huh. And you can't have a drink. Samini. Oh, sir. Yo. Say me gara gawa gawa raga raga bat mana basana mana 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 bana mana sana mana tamana raga ni enkashi. Hey, 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 Producers, they all have some music in him, but this man doesn't have any music in him. He Me, does, I he have does. some ah, music. It's missing, like he couldn't do anything. If he doesn't have it, he can't be a producer. No, but he can't, he didn't do anything. So, what you are saying, mistake now, what you are saying, I'm tr trying to give you a rhythm. A rhythm? A vibe. Not necessarily like the words of vibe, something like but I get a vibe, I get everything. You understand? Yeah, so if, 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 if you want me to write it. Uh -huh. Because there are a lot of songs that maybe I give them the rhythms as like, you know, I give you the, the structure, then you just go and take time and just put in the words. What are you saying? Yeah, no. Uh, music mind and it over. What are you saying? But in the studio, there, what floppy 100%. <laughs> no, so we're a studio. Is that bread or sandy food soup? A studio freestyle. You said, you're not going to go West Coast or region. West Coast or region. <laughs> Chip Charles, you were you were shaking your head as ah, makes Master Gazi far. No, no, I was no, I was shaking my head in admiration. Oh, you were rather enjoying it. Yes. But what did he do? He didn't do anything. So what were you enjoying? He did all. He did all. Yeah, he understand the movement. He understand. I mean, that was that was a rap freestyle. Sammy, do something. Stick up, money beat no. My goodness, Sammy flex. Sammy flex freestyle rap session. Let me put the tip, you know. No, 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 we may start here. We may start with many a good tip, you know. Aha, Bridget Otu, the hip, you know. 
Make me rap is a mina na me ye black sheep no. And your bomba boss your mama na me chip chip no. Ah! Now who lies in a me ye? Copyright, copyright, copyright. Abu the TV copyright. I see. Um, you were enjoying what he did. Amazing, amazing, amazing freestyle. And I meet my better freestyle crowd. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Let's go. What's up? What's up? We are we are ready for you. Right, Chief Charles and the Seer here on Showbiz Agenda. Some flex so bit my freestyle, but what's up? Chief Charles crab bit my better thing. Master Gazi here with the same. Now, what do you mean what it takes to do rap? Wait, your friend freestyle. Exactly. Yeah, we need to say BB Crown. Chief, who comes? Hey, 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 hey. But I've come up for some serious. Oh, no. Mr. Matt is not a half book. Oh, so we're in freestyle, BKK. No, no, we're in freestyle. No, it's not like free. Right now, we do pay style. Yeah, man. <laughs> the style is not for free. Uh, so you go. Mix Mr. Gazi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, my boss. I hear you are still enjoying Patoran Kane's cash. Oh. And assistance now with this kind of crime, they uh, say, pack to I'm red. I feel some more, but the Roma about to tell you more cash. Oh, okay. Uh, so, how many songs did you do on the Roma album? Basically, almost all the production like has my touch because uh, I'm the director of the album and I uh, have like let's say three production like on it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I almost recorded all the song, mm -hmm. make sure it's well mixed, everything like we went to the state to finish the album and everything like it was it was dope. I see. To only Pato Moko USA, and I'm quite mixing the video. Yeah, yeah, go finish it. Mix it. Oh my God, we and someone else saying say Nigeria for that say see that we've lost you because now. You are not doing stuff with the Ghana boys more. Oh, tell us that, bro. You see, the funny thing is, like, I'm doing a lot of things, but people don't know. You see, I'll tell you, you're not the most wanted <coughs> producer, the most wanted mixer, eh, mia. but people don't know it's me. Um, it's so what change the mix master guys? No, I know who, but I don't be there. I said, they be a mom before for you. Before I can say, oh, this guy is not around. Before you realize, oh, he's the most wanted mix, and I just say, a jeans. And I just say, the whole time he's still a huge man. I'm still working with some of the guys and drop crime in Uka say and then you're trying to cry and they cry you video. One artist me and you cry. Yeah, artist me. Uh xylophone artist. Uh say xylophone a kaya artist me and you can. Oh sir. I can't be needed to make it down. Oh, okay. And the former artist. I am former artist. I'm still why bad shot shut out in the back as well, but in your age one yeah, I'm crying so wow. And the human story was so bad. Mm. Yes, yes, and a Ghana for a tree. I ever send in Nigeria for it. Yeah, why did I also like that? At times, it's about the business, right? Mm -hmm. It's like now, if I have to enter Nigeria, they see me as an international producer yeah, no. because I'm coming from somewhere else. So, mm -hmm. with the, some of the charges, you know, I make sure say, I even charge in dollars and all that. Like when oh. I go outside, mm -hmm. that's the same thing. If an international artist to, to come and perform here, mm -hmm. most of the times they try to sort that person more than the local artist. So, mm -hmm. so we'll call outside that. Uh, you get somehow good money. Mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. Like, oh, fear, oh, fear. Some of the guys you are even friends with, you do it in another business way. So, basically, like the international wise or the outside wise, mm -hmm. somehow pay mm -hmm. than better. Yeah. I see. But then, um, apart from 
patronizing in Nigeria? Which other artists uh, have you worked with in recent times? Oh, I've worked with like um, for a few years now. I've worked with like Davido, Danagog, mm -hmm. um, Mayoko, mm -hmm. Ichaba, Pato Rankin, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of them. I like um, Praise, mm -hmm. a couple of artists in Nigeria. Let me ask you this question: What because you've worked with a good number of Nigerian artists and a good number of Kenyan artists? Yeah. When it comes to talent, yeah. talent, the Ghana and Nigeria artists now are new age man. I hear from them talent in the cultural part. I think say it's I'll say it's, it's in two ways. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'll say like here we have the talent. Mm -hmm. But then some of the outside artists like they say the Nigerian, they are very smart or they are very fast in a way say when you give them beat, mm -hmm. they can just do a song like two or three songs now. But here we need to take time and arrange it, rewrite it, do it like that. But Nigeria, if you give him a beat, he's just free. So like he's just doing it at that same time. Mm -hmm. He's just doing it. Anything <coughs> that comes out, he can even use the same beat to do like two songs. Mm. You understand? Because first he will freestyle straight to the end of the beat. If you play again, what he's going to do is another thing again. He's not even going to. When they come to the studio and they give them the beat, they will just do some freestyle on That's this. what they do. Just freestyle straight and they, Before they, they will come back for maybe what they've written. Maybe they no, maybe they will just it's okay now, maybe let me change change here, change there, change here, change there. That's the only thing about the Nigeria. They are very smart, like there's no time. So you mean our people are slow? Some way because we need to take time and rearrange it, get it right, write mm -hmm. it, and all. But Nigeria, if you give him, you just enter the boots, freestyle, bam, 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 bam. Like you think he has, he has even written a song in his mind like for some days, mm -hmm. but he's just just dropping it. So which people are you enjoying working with at the moment? Are you working uh, enjoying working with our people or the Nigerians more? Oh, home is home, so I enjoy working with home because I don't the day um, I started something here, so I'm more fused with my people here than outside. So I'm just now trying to build something new outside getting some new experience outside to also make sure that I, I I mean I collaborate with them very well but then home is home so I see before sure. we go into the serious ones I hear Pato gave you a Nigerian man to marry is it true <laughs> no <laughs> but a girlfriend it is it was just a girlfriend no no nah. I have a girlfriend in Ghana why are you telling lies already <laughs> oh no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know you see there there are some vibe like when you see artists, mm -hmm. some artists are so hard, like you see them online, but when you see them personally, they are also different. Mm -hmm. Somebody like Pato like this. I've visited the video, I've been with the video for like weeks and things. He's that hard guy, party guy, let's go here, mm -hmm. let's vibe, let's chill. Today they call him here, let's go. Mm -hmm. Like Pato, he is always there. Like we're from home, studio, mm -hmm. home, studio. We don't even go to club, we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't mm -hmm. do anything. Like all we do is from home, studio, home, studio, making sure we get it. Write songs and that's all. Mm, but for the video, he, he drinks and he smokes more. No, not that. Like, <laughs> like he's, he he's, he's he goes the, to the party. He's the party all. type. Like, yeah, let's but, buy. But the party type, that is where we do the uh, drinking and the smoking. No, know? like, it's not like, um, you know, as, as a, even part of like, at times when he's invited in the club, they bring drinks and things. Like, it would just be there. It's just that kind of hype. You know that kind of thing. Because we have a celebrity here, they need to serve him and all that. But mm -hmm. At times, we, we can even just take some one or two juice or something, then we just bring the rest, mm -hmm. all the boys will be just vibing to it. Is it true that when Pato is also performing <coughs> on some of the international stages, you have been his DJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, Are I you a DJ too? The baddest and the maddest. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Basically, we play with the live band, so mm -hmm. I, I do the backing track. Oh, I have okay. the stems mm -hmm. that I make sure that like, uh, with the backing track, I think this man will really understand what yeah, I mean. Like, with the backing track, so, oh, okay. So Boy that's... Boy and, um, uh, DJ Justice, yeah, what do do with but I mean, DJ Justice is more of DJ, but my own because I have the the, the, parts, the product, product, yeah. So at times we just do only the cakes, the snail, and all that, some things like, and we maybe with some backing vocals. So we have like 12 bands, men that like we travel everywhere and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we fire. I see. So all Pato Rankin's uh, performances have been um, live performances, yeah, 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 most mm -hmm. except the club ones that maybe he needs to appear or something. That's all. But then when the major shows, they are all live. I see. Thank you so much, Mix Master Kazi. The baddest. <laughs> the baddest and the most wanted producer. The most wanted. I see. Everywhere. Now, now I see your, I see money on you all over. Hey. Like it feels oh, good. Tally, God. It oh, feels tally. good to know that a brother yeah. is moving on <laughs> exactly, with his profession. Exactly. Yeah, we can't hustle all the time. No, no. After no, some no, days of hustling, we need to move on. Yeah, that's why some of our brothers. I think few days I, I saw this guy sketches being signed on a label and he mm -hmm. got kind. Of, but some brothers were somewhere saying and blah blah and blah blah. But we have to be happy for our brother, like our brothers. They are mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. So why do you have to be like, oh, 
this boy is an order. I heard something like I was very, I was, oh, so this is our guy. Maybe first, I, I work with Ketchum. Maybe if, I'm very happy because maybe first, if I, I take them like friends, so let's do something for free. But now I know they have to, I can still also get something, so I, I should be happy for them. But some brothers are being like, oh, even me like this. Do you know how many people said I've told Juju? Because you were. One day I have to come for. I have to come for a full section and, and tell you the names and people that are saying that about me. Like, I've taken Juju, I've do them Juju. That's why people are going places that I say, what is Juju? Mm-hmm. And if they are doing Juju or something, you need to go and see a pastor to pray to. <laughs> Break your Juju. Yeah, so that they told well, you mean, uh, me. your colleague producers? Yeah, some of them. They are saying, because you have gone for Juju, that's why you, you are getting all the deals. Yes, and uh, I've also spoiled their work and blah, blah, blah. How? <laughs> How did you spoil their work? I don't even know. So at times, we just need to be happy for each other right mm-hmm. and that person that is saying that i'm not sure you have even one stamp in his passport i have now two passports he's even getting food i see you understand so when but, is but in reality is the business paying you now because i know in your days at uh, mr roy <coughs> i i remember once came to your studio when he came here he was just ah sammy he was disappointed because he thought you had some big space yeah and uh, he came and he was surprised that uh, small space and the little the job you are doing yes they are just beyond borders yeah, exactly. but is the business now paying uh and yes company can yeah at times too it's not really the pain but then you get to know the business side of it okay because right now if let's say two or three years time like ago that i wasn't able to get royalties online all this but like as of now you are getting it. some other royalties you understand oh. so you even giving somebody song at times you don't need to just rush okay pay me this and that's all first like oh pay me something and that's all or at times if it's for free mm-hmm. but now maybe you get some pay and you get like split sheet signed mm-hmm. make sure that you give it to your your society that you are working with mm. then mm. before some mm. months uh, like some of the society pay like two times in a year and all that so See. before you realize you have good money and if it hadn't been the fact that you did business with some of these guys you didn't have all this knowledge you mean exactly oh i see so now what royalties is paying you can even be more than what an artist will pay you the thousand five hundred two thousand oh there we have the prs and we have the samro <laughs> we have the gamro here mm-hmm. we have but then our here the gamma is we don't I, I've I still know. not seen anything Some yet. Way. So most of can pay most you most of two hundred fifty cities for a year. <laughs> they say send your mobile money number. Money that they have to transfer to your account. They say mobile money. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, more handy. Oh, you press your call bank across the paper. And you know, like most of the artists here, or some of the like most of the like we all have registration with some of the outside um, royalty companies and that. So at times, I don't know. Okay, thank you so much, Mix Master Gazi. Chief Charles is also here. That I have called. This is the discussion we're actually going to have with Mix Master Gazi. Yes, boss. Those days, anytime there will be a collaboration, yeah. the artist or a feature, the artist who is being featured, whether outside or local, the, both of the artists will be in the studio yes. to do the recording. So, for instance, if it is a young artist featuring um, an established artist whilst in the studio, the young man gets to pick some one or two information. He gets to learn some one or two from the established artist, exactly. which was a good thing. So, anytime someone goes for a collaboration or a feature, we say, oh, I have thrown any bit here, baby, can crown, any baby, can crown. These days, the business is not like that. Mm-hmm. You can do a collaboration with someone whose face you might not even see. But then the song will be ready. Yeah. And we want to know, as musicians, as producers, how does it work? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, yes, we need to give some credence to technology. Yeah. The yeah. fact that oh, technology is also growing, so let's use it. That is okay. No problem about that. But imagine, say, a Ghanaian artist, ABA, Kwame Eugene, or Ne Obit, say, Whiskey, or Moya Fitch, or Moya Collaboration, or Nini Mini Nini Nawa Studio. Let's look at the chemistry. Let's look at the feeling. And the sunny money will be the collaboration of the feature will be done. Or money will be done. Exactly. Um, and it's in your friend, Mix Master Gazi, Abafi, and say, I'm running anything come on here. Quite send your son come on in tears. Mix Master Gazi, is this good or bad? That act? Um, somehow I think it's, it's very bad because, mm-hmm. as you are saying, if the, the like the, that big artist is in the studio with you. Definitely he might show, oh no, this girl sing it like that, do it like that. Although he is coming to feature on it, he can still direct you, mm-hmm. advise you like, and most of the times, this artist, when we meet, mm-hmm. 
we really like talking very very well. You understand? When we meet, we like talking like Omudi Ukomo. They share experiences. You know, then no cry. It meets no more. Then tell it. At times, you know, we have a section whereby they are recording and maybe I'll be there. I'll be listening to her. They'll be saying this and that. And these people do it, and this company that, and you know, this promotion, <coughs> I did it like that, and it happened like this and that. And come on, so that we can really have that business going, yeah. get to know you guys, introduce us here and there. And they said, Oh, when it is time for the video, when it is time for the video, so they sent the file, gave it to FAQs within minutes. FAQs had finished recording, yeah. We she, she sent it to them, and they loved us. Oh, and so where is the connection? When it happens like that, I was asking myself, okay, maybe I'm not an artist. To them, they think it is all right, but I was asking myself, where is that connection? When they meet, will there be that fun? I see, you know, you know, that vibe, will it still be there? And I'm sure you have also given us your opinion on it. Um, I'll come back to you again, but then let me go to that. I have also an artist, uh, get his opinion. Um, this man thinks that if we can bring them back into the studio, it will add up. I don't know what he thinks, Hako. Yes, I mean, as an artist, um, I think which one speaks the way the the being at different areas venues. yeah at different venues speaks okay. the way mm -hmm. because mostly a lot of artists are busy mm -hmm. a lot of artists won't put I, your schedule put, I, I beg you I beg give me just some two oh. minutes or maximum right. three let me go to highly spiritual and I have this convo with KY before I come back to you. And I believe he is also an experienced producer. Let's see what he'll tell us in addition to what Mitz Master Gazi has also told us. Now, Kewa, good morning, sir. Good morning, Jeff. Mm, hope you are good, boss. Uh, by the grace of God, oh, boss. <laughs> uh, when the prophet is good, that means we are all good. <laughs> oh, oh, we thank God for that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kewa, for responding to our call. Already we have uh, your colleague, Miss Master Gazi, here in the studio having a special discussion on uh, featuring or collaborations between artists. Now, we've realized that because of busy schedules, because of technology, now when featuring or collaborations are going on, the artists, both artists don't get to meet in the studio. One can be in Afghanistan, the other can be in the US of A, and there will be a song. But we're asking, what does it take out of the production, or what does it add out of the production? Uh, your experience will help us to do this discussion a lot. Okay. Well, as you know, uh, technology has, you know, come to rather improve music production, not to bring it down. Um, if anybody would tell you that technology has rather brought music production, that's not true. In this sense, um, even technology can make the, I mean, both artists be in different locations and record at the same time. Meaning that I can be in my studio with an artist, one artist, and another artist in any part of the world, and technology can make them record at the same time. All right, where where the artist is and where where I am, mm -hmm. um, the artist's recording is respectively. It, it has not come to. Um, to, to it, it's, for me, it's not negative at all. Um, it's rather positive. Um, it's rather, you know, helping the uh, our music to grow. That notwithstanding, um, our artists should also understand that the vibe is not the recording time. Okay? Mm -hmm. To get the best out of both of you, the vibe is the relationship out of the studio. And that's where um, usually we, we get it wrong. Most artists will send a song to another artist, uh, waiting for the artist to record, and it will take forever for the artist to record. Mm -hmm. What is called is that is called strong bonding and relationship. Well, you understand? And so, for me, artist bonding goes beyond the fact that the artists are in the studio and then they are. They are producing they have to hit together. It goes way beyond that. And what we what I mean, one area I have discovered is a good relationship. 
I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. Uh, I was also about asking that, uh, does it also affect creativity in a way where maybe uh, if they are both in the studio, someone can advise, oh, go this way, go that way, let me also come in this way and go that way? Well, um, to some extent, because I'm sure that when both parties are at the same time, you can suggest to each other, okay, uh -huh, to some extent, but I think you can still do that when at his age stage is a bit and at this B is saying that no, perhaps at this one it's still communication that and more not to communication still. You see, so it's not necessarily the fact that both artists are in the studio. Although if it helps them, it really is not a thing. Because I've seen great records, uh great songs that have been recorded where art that not in the same studio. Yeah, but they, they produce great records. Okay, now let me ask, Um, for the two songs you did for KL Songs and Sack, what you, were both of them in the studio or Sack did his own in his or uh, in his studio? Well, actually, you see, the relationship I have with Sack, the first, I, when I gave out, uh, it was one of the second songs that Sarkozy had, I said to him, that the whistle. Mm -hmm. I've not heard Jenny Palomote anyway. Okay? So, he came to the studio to record, after writing, he came to the studio to record the whistle. Your song was not in the studio. Mm -hmm. So when he came to record whistle, I played Jenny Palomote for him to hear. After recording whistle, then he, he was like, ah, let me do this one also, because I want to help this young young artist. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a big song and blah, blah, blah. The artist was not in the studio. But when Chelsea also moved into the studio and held, held sack on his part, it took him to another level of singing. You understand? So it is not necessary that the artist really gets in the studio, although it's a, a art sack something. Now, let, let, let me try this finally with Kewa before I leave you. Uh, maybe you get uh, an opportunity to record with someone like Jay-Z, with one of your artists, maybe Creamy or any of them. And you have two options. The first option is that you guys can fly to go meet him in a studio record in the US of A, or you send the file to him. Which of these two options would you readily go for? I will readily go for any of them. Which... The, the one which is convenient for both of us. Because most of it, Jay-Z is always on tour. Maybe. No, th th this time around, he's agreed. He's agreed that he's giving a period uh, from... Uh, uh -huh. Small bite. So if he wants us to be together to record, mm -hmm. but that, that is not just for the recording, just like I said in the beginning, but that is for bonding relationship because we will not only be in the studio, he will, he will perhaps uh, take me around, you perhaps show me what, what makes him uh, that big artist, show, the, show my artist, sorry, what makes him that big artist, and show him even more about music creation, how to make money around music. So it is bigger. Mm -hmm. It's being the studio to record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so can, can, can we therefore encourage that more? I always encourage that. We, that's what I'm saying that. I will encourage the relationship more okay. than something which is distant. Mm, 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 yeah. Relationship. So if it's, if it's even distant, there's no problem with it. Nice one. Thank you so much, Kiwa, for responding to our call. We appreciate your time, sir. I appreciate that. All right, so that was Kewa, highly spiritual. He has also invested in a whole lot of artists. And uh, he's saying that, yes, if you get both, why not? You're good to go. Hapo, sorry. You can now continue with your yes, submission. Right. Mm. I think um, Kewa has given us a lot of insights mm. and, mm. you know, positive ones as well. Mm. Like when he said that technology actually came to back up the job. Mm -hmm. It came to make it more easier. Mm -hmm. I think that was, you know, fair. Mm -hmm. And, um, <coughs> sorry. For an artist being in the studio with the one that is going to be featured, mm -hmm. I think that that one will be a little up above being in different locations. Mm -hmm. Now, 
there are times that I could write a song mm -hmm. and I feel like whoever I am putting on the song must come with a certain type of vibe, a certain type of language choice, mm -hmm. even if the song is in key. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to be with the person to make inputs. Mm -hmm. Because either than that, when the song comes, I'll feel like, no, the kind of tree now may come on your mess, no, they need too light. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like when I did Mensa, for example, I told KK that I want to be, I want you to be in the studio. I want to be with you. With him in the with studio. You. Yes, I want to be with you because what I'm looking for now, I want to be beside you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. So when he came. So you can also direct your face. Exactly. So mm -hmm. when he came, we stayed in the booth for like 30 minutes. Then he was like, now leave me. Hmm. But it was after we had exchanged a Ideas. lot of conversation about the beat. Hmm. So when I left and I came and I heard what he, he had done, I was like, wow, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Because you see, the choice of the music you are doing, no, if the person's vibe does not come closer to what you're doing, because you know the reason why you choose an artist to come and feature on a song, either it is for the mileage, or it is for the equal vibe to the song. Mm -hmm. For example, when you want to put Kofi B on a song, obviously you know that it is a song that is deep lyrically. What I say? Because he is from that type, the area where when he comes on a song, or the company some you know mm -hmm. flawless language and, and things like that. Uh -huh. Then we have somebody that you think Charlie he has mileage. I want to put him on for mileage. Mm -hmm. No lyrical whatever mm -hmm. whatsoever. Or no any day now. Fine. Once his image is what you are going to use to push the song. Mm -hmm. But when you are dealing with content and all those things, when you are closer to the person, it is more, more, more better. Mm -hmm. Like the Jay Z experience that you said. Mm -hmm. I like the answer Kewa gave. Mm -hmm. That he will fly there because of the bonding, the relationship. And, and I'm the, sure it is part of the reasons we do yes, featuring. Exactly. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because once in the studio. The vibe that is created between the artists, that is what is going to live on after the studio session. Exactly. Because right after the studio session, Yaya had a way. Mm -hmm. So from there, you know, when we see each other, you know, the, the, the communication. The is there. Exactly. Because I may not know Gazi from Adam. Mm -hmm. I only hear his name, Gazi. He's a colleague, superstar, whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But on the D day that me and him will be locked up in the studio to and produce a right. record. Mm -hmm. After no, that, no. There is a bond. Gazi is a friend, automatically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, we've exchanged numbers. Follow I'm on his WhatsApp, I follow him on social media, yeah. whatsoever. Exactly. Now, from there, even when I'm promoting the song, he is going to be actively involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now it's become a project for the two of us. So, for me, I think that much as the being in different locations helps because it fastens the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there are lots of celebrities who don't have time these days. Mm -hmm. And even if they do, they will still want to boss you small. <laughs> you understand? Somebody may have a lot of time on his hands. But when you send a song to him, he might think that I'm here in terms of my one manner for the cheap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let me boss him small. Oh, boss, so how far? Charlie, I make you small. I will, I will, I will mm -hmm. send you. Mm -hmm. I make you small. You understand? So those things fasten the job. Mm -hmm. I did a song with Nero X. He was in Takrade. Mm -hmm. I'm in Accra. Mm -hmm. I called him. I want us to do this record. Oh, what's I will come and cry like next week or maybe next two weeks. Mm -hmm. A bet check. So then he hits me back. Or oh, you send me the file. I send it to him. The next day he sent me back the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the song was ready. Mm -hmm. So that one, those are some of the advantages of the different location. Mm -hmm. But the real work, if me and Nero had been in the studio, mm -hmm. I believe, we, yes, I believe we could have created even something way beyond that. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think the being in the studio is the best bet. Mm. If there is a the opportunity for, for us, us to mm. be in the studio, mm. is the best bet. For me, I have been in the studio, I have the, had the opportunity to be in the studio with different artists. When we did Fili Gadochi, Ukabna, Ukabna, mm. we did not have too much friendship. Mm. We knew each other and everything, but we didn't have too much friendship. But from that day onwards, you know, everything changed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me, I'll go for being in the studio. Mm -hmm. But that notwithstanding, no, mm -hmm. being in different locations, no, still it, it still vibes, it, it helps sort the song. Because sometimes, I mean, you want to release the song as quick as possible. Mm. Featuring artists alone can delay. Mamichal Gintia may start to tell you. <laughs> See, 
when we started this business. No, can he? My main show didn't hear me jai rap. Yes, 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 me jai rap. See, when we started, we're both rappers. Mm -hmm. Anytime we're looking for a singer to sing our music, some of your breasts you call the person. Me ba, me ba, ba, me ba. Sometimes when you go to the studio four, me pan over be do or try and match a five. Mm. So then, I'm telling you, so one day, I woke up one day, I'm like, we need, I need to find a solution <coughs> to this. <coughs> you know me, I, I've always been a Pentacles boy and, and all that. So, this kind of duetting and all those, I had it in me, but I had never tried it. Yeah. So that was from that day on was I started, you know, doing it my own. Nobody taught me nothing. Me uh, doing it my own. So when we were recording Yenko Disco, mm -hmm. I went to the studio, I told the I want, I'm singing on this song. He was like, no, only meant to it. I'm like, ah, I was saying, he was like, no. So Apiatus even left the studio. Like, he wouldn't let me say, he does not believe I can. Mm -hmm. So he left the studio to Voltage. Mm -hmm. When he came back, I was done with the singing. He, he was shocked. Like, who did a duet for you? I'm like, me, who taught you? I said, I, I learned it myself. Because wow. it was a way to, to be able to get that singing thing Go to ahead. the group. Because when you want to feature somebody who sings, I mean, those days, send them put their social media, you know, you go on Facebook, you find him. Those days, social media no day. If you call him and his phone is off and you don't know his house, it ends there. That's all. That's all. You need to fish for him and you'll be walking the whole of Accra mm -hmm. looking for KK for so you know go find him. You understand? So, meeting the different locations, it help. But when you get the artist in the studio, mm -hmm. you deal sometimes with you change it, you exchange ideas mm -hmm. when he's even writing. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who love it when you are with them when they are writing. Mm -hmm. So, they, they will ask you, Charlie, it's actually you will cry, you kind of saying. Mm -hmm. You know, he has the idea, it's actually yeah. you kind of So, you give the input and all those. So, for me, I'll, I'll, I think I'll pick that one. And, and that one sure is the best bet. I see. His name is that I have called himself a high life artist, showing real time experience here on the show as well. And um, I'm sure I will be crying for the up and coming artist more. Because if there is a young rapper who gets the chance to record with a bravo and he's not going to get that studio experience with a bravo, well, a bravo will tell him, oh, aha, can he say, a man can he say, yen he say, man yen he say, all these people, they lose that uh, fine opportunity in doing that. Again, anytime you listen to actors and they do any uh, movie business with the legendary actors, they tell you, ah, now many a jacko was set to this one. Many G. A jacko to me, chair, missing mini say, mini say, mini say. I learned a lot from a jacko. But the young artists are not getting that feeling. Because they are sending data, they are coming, uh, will be on the night. And you know, I'm wanting he is bragging that I have done a feature with this guy. But hey, you grow on Chan and say, Mopoda. Picture, I'm going to get a picture. I'm going to get a picture. Only picture, yes. You try with picture different. You try with picture different. Not bread or sandy for. I am boom. I know my grand casted me in a movie. And I was acting alongside Koyon Kansan. Right. Then it got to it got to a part. I didn't have much knowledge about acting. Mm -hmm. So it got to a part where we we're supposed to share cocoa in the morning. And we, we, we're supposed to fight over the cocoa. Mm -hmm. So when they said action, Sammy, I quit coming so like serious in your I grow a Asumbo. <laughs> Papa, Papa Nibi. So I was like, ah. And I was like, Puni me. So, you know, and it taught me so many lessons. I'm like, ah, like, Asumbo needs to be born for real. Sir. Sure. <laughs> and you see, even going against that boy, I got even intimidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah against Louis, I got intimidated. Mm. I could not bring the best out of me. Mm. Because he was bullying me on the set. <laughs> yeah, he, he was because he had so much experience. Yeah, exactly. So I, I ended up becoming somebody who was learning from him. Okay. We got to Jolu, um traffic light. Mm -hmm. He's selling ice water. I'm selling handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Now we got the media they shouted action. This boy was cool road because I thought room or cotton handkerchief new. You know what I mean? So vibing with the person you are going along with, you know, it helps a lot. You even finish and end up learning so many things that you know on your on your next role it will help you, help you achieve a lot. Now Tech has an experience whilst he was recording this song. Uh, Tony Tetula came in and again the ad libs from Tic Tac in the production. Now let's go on the line. Tick is there to also share his experience with that. Tick, good morning. 
Good morning, Big Man. Mm, hope you're good, say. I'm good, sir. Yourself? Okay, we are also doing it very, very fine. Now, the first question will be, were you in the same studio with Tony Tetula when you recorded this uh, song, Fair Fair Fair? Sure, I was. Mm -hmm. How was the experience like? And again, we want to make reference to one that uh, maybe Tony wouldn't be in the studio and how that would also be like. Well, um, it's always a good feeling when you share your experiences with one another in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, like for Tony Petrula, it was like, for us, it was like a groundbreaking uh, move. So everybody was high on the song, you know. <laughs> And um, it, the, the feeling was different because, of course, you could do things there and then. You know, you guys are great musicians who are producing great music from different ends. And so being one studio, you, you know, you share your experience. For example, when um, I was um, telling the girls to do, I mean, teaching the girls how to say uh, at the age of the woman and to enter the woman and teaching them the meaning and all that. You know, Tony will come in and also say that, oh, okay, that's the meaning, okay, then. They can also sing it this way or that way, you know. And so you share each other's, um, um, you know... Knowledge and experience. Mm -hmm. Knowledge and skill. And so you get the best. You get it also spontaneous mm -hmm. because sometimes if you are recording with a party and you don't know the studio, you know, um, the parties need to be attacked. You could feel that they are not, um, I don't know the word, they are not bonding. Yeah, not being responded, they are not married to the music. <laughs> You see that they are like aliens in the music, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you, the song will be going on and it pops up. And so in case it doesn't really do well lyrically, then you see that it doesn't gel. I know. You share it together. You sometimes also share like, which creates a very big bond for the music. Mm -hmm. Because then it keeps the music in a certain direction that, you know, people feel the, the marriage. The, the, the marriage. You know, and so for me, it is always the best when you can have the artist in the studio. But sometimes, economic wise, oh, okay. business sense, yeah. you know, people choose to sometimes stay in their mm, mm, mm. territories and do it via social media, mm. maybe uh, uh, internet, uh, you know. But I, I think you guys meet together. And you know, do the thing. 